There have been so many stories and legends being told on the island of Sodor. Most of them were brought up whenever long periods of fog and mist came, and the engines would bring up these supernatural tales. There was one story in particular that had recently been brought up. One that gave children nightmares in the worst way. Once upon a time, there was an engine who used to work on Sodor long before Thomas came in 1915. The story went something like this. Early one night, there was a steam engine waiting at the docks to take his passengers home. He had a similar shape like Thomas, with six small wheels, except he was painted silver and had the number zero on his side. His name was Timothy. He was an old but kind engine, with a broad smile and wrinkles at the end of his mouth. All the passengers climbed on board the coaches and the guard blew his whistle. All steam ahead, Timothy. Sure thing. Timothy was soon puffing down the line in the countryside, with the rails humming and the carriages clattering behind him. The moon was full, the sickness were down, and the wind was blowing gracefully. As they approached the first station, it happened. The driver applied the brakes, but Timothy kept on going and shot past the station. He started to go faster and faster. Timothy, what are you doing? Timothy didn't answer. He just kept on going. Suddenly, they were switched off the wrong line, heading away from the main line. Then the driver and fireman saw in horror that they were heading towards a cliff where a viaduct was to be built. Timothy! Don't! You will kill us all! The driver and fireman scrambled and filled with the controls, desperately trying their best to stop him, but it was no use. I will send you all to the graveyard! The train had crashed through the blockade and had fallen into the ravine below, killing everyone on board. Timothy and his crew were also killed upon impact. There was no eyewitnesses and no survivors.
The wreck was found by the workmen the following day, but they couldn't identify who the engine was due to being blown up and charred beyond recognition. When investigators came, they had very little evidence to go on, but the bodies of the driver and fireman were found, and they thought they had tried to save the locomotive and the passengers, but couldn't in time. Investigators ruled it as a normal tragic train accident with mechanical failure to the controls as the cause of the crash. Years later, the construction of the viaduct was commenced. However, after the rails were laid and the final works to it were being made, many workmen and railway staff reported seeing a ghost train rushing by, whistling fit to burst and cursing in a demonic voice before screaming into the darkness and disappearing. Many witnesses didn't know that it was the ghost of Timothy haunting the viaduct, but nobody really knew whether to believe it or not. But it was, according to those who had heard about the story. And every year, on the date of his suicidal accident, Timothy runs again as a warning to others, plunging into the gap, shrieking like a lost soul.